a trio destined to create a new sound that the world of music would fall in love with, had no idea that they would begin one of the most impactful movements in music history. Teddy Riley, a Harlem native, was making a name for himself in the midst of the emerging hip-hop scene in the mid-80s. The young producer got one of his earliest credits by co-producing Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick's classic hip-hop record, The Show. In 1986, he co-produced Cool Moldy's Wild Wild West and Go See the Doctor. Riley's name was ringing bells as a producer. Around this time, Andre Harrell launched Uptown Records. Riley was brought on as a producer for a lot of the roster, including artists like Heavy D and Al B. Shore. Teddy had been part of a group as a kid, and one of the former group members, Timmy Gatling, approached Riley about creating a new group. Timmy had been working at a department store and identified one of his co-workers, Aaron Hall, as having some serious talent. The three would eventually link and create a group called Guy. Andre Horrell signed the trio to Uptown Records. After an argument with the group's manager, Timmy Gatling left Guy. This happened right before the group really began to take off. He was replaced by Aaron Hall's brother, Damian Hall. Although Guy's music was very R&B, the sound was different. It had a kick and a swing to it that made it stand out. Riley called it New Jack Swing. Their debut album, Guy, is seen as the origin of the sound. It blended the toughness of hip-hop along with the melodies of R&B, kicking the BPM up a little, making the music very danceable. Guy's first album was released in 1988, produced by Riley with this new sound. The album reached number one on the R&B album charts and remained there for five weeks. Among album cuts, some of the more popular records are Groove Me, I Like, and Goodbye Love. New Jack Swing spread like wildfire. Other popular producers began recreating the sound for other artists like Bobby Brown, Belle Biv DeVoe, and Tony Tony Tony. In 1989, Guy appeared on the soundtrack to Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. They also appeared in Mario Van Peebles' classic New Jack City. The title of the movie was obviously inspired by the New Jack Swing genre of music. Even the popular sketch comedy show In Living Color had a New Jack Swing theme song to open their show each week. Teddy Riley's brother Markel was in a rap group called Rex and Effect that also saw success with the New Jack Swing style of music. They had a single called New Jack Swing on their debut album dedicated to the sound that was taking over the music industry. Guy released their second album, The Future, in 1990. Behind the scenes, there were business complications happening between the group and their management. The album still performed very well, reaching number one on the R&B charts as their first album did. By January of 1991, the album was certified platinum. The album cut Wanna Get With You reached Billboard's top five. The group unfortunately disbanded after their second album. The group split was mostly due to their issues with management. Aaron Hall went on to have a successful solo career, releasing his first album, The Truth, in 1993. In the meantime, Teddy Riley continued to progress as a producer. He went on to work on Michael Jackson's 1991 album, Dangerous. Michael benefited from the new Jack Swing sound as well with his single, Remember the Time. Teddy's work with MJ earned him a Grammy win. Around the same time, Teddy moved to Virginia and built a studio that he worked out of producing records. This is where he produced Rex and Effect's single, Rump Shaker, along with Ty Fife and a young, rather unknown duo from Virginia, later to be known as The Neptunes. Guy eventually got back together for one last album almost a decade later in 2000. The album titled Three wasn't necessarily a New Jack Swing album, but the sound had progressed with the times, and the days of New Jack Swing were behind Guy. The album did well, reaching the top five on R&B album charts. Guy may not have an extensive discography, but the impact of the sound that they put forth is felt even today. 
Lately, we have seen the reemergence of New Jack Swing with artists like Bruno Mars. His record finesse is a nod to the days of Guy and New Jack Swing. During its heyday, New Jack Swing was heard on the radio, movies, and TV. The powerful musical effect brought into the world by Guy is more than just a sound. It marks an era in American music that is undeniably classic. <laughs>